Hello everyone, Game Data here. And now I know this is a different kind of video, but I wanted to see how many people are interested, and as well as uh, if it's even possible, as you can tell by the title, uh, making Minecraft in Desmos. If you don't know what Desmos is, it's a graphing calculator. And so far, I've been working like eh, maybe a couple uh, weeks on in my free time uh, to get to where this is currently. And I'll just show you around a bit uh, everything. It is not sorted at all. Like you can look at this atrocity of equations. And maybe in a future video, I'll go ahead and explain everything in detail. But for now, I just wanted to see if there's any be any interest for the public watching this, but as well as like just documentation. So I can move on the X and Y axis here. And you can see that this is truly a 3D object. Another thing that I've done with this is back face culling. So you can see that the triangles aren't there until I actually uh, can view them. And I can re-enable this by just disabling that and that. And now you can see the red is what's not being rendered. You can see very slightly the green here, but there's mostly red, because that's all not rendered. So I'm going to turn that back onto how it was. But not only can you move in the XY plane, you can move in the Z axis. You can move back and forth, and then you can move around. But what's the point of moving around if you can't look around? So then I have this right here to have you be able to look around. And don't worry, I'll go and do what probably some of you are wondering. Yes, you can go up and look at the cube. Unlike some of those other Desmos tutorials where you can't see the full cube and you're just stuck with a bit, you can see a little bit here. I've limited it to the angle that you can turn. So I set a standard FOV of 90 degrees. And then I was able to get everything to scale by just taking the aspect ratio and all that fun stuff. This video is probably dragging on a little too long. So I'll just quickly go over some of the important things. These are the vertices, these are the indices. Vertices are these points. Indices are how you connect these points. Then that's the rendering. Then I drew each of the vertices. Quaternions, uh, aspect ratio, rotation, and uh, drawing, and triangles, and points. And this is like, uh, this was experimenting with tickers to be able to uh, turn and move around. But I found a way to do that without tickers, so it could be very easy and very fine. But I'll probably add them back for the purpose of being able to have controls that return back to their position. So instead of having this and staying there, it would go to the center. So I can go like that, and then it would start turning. And all that fun stuff. So yeah. I'll probably be do documenting a few, few updates. Um, maybe I might even show how I did this in more detail. Uh, who knows? But that's all for today. I'll see you guys later.